To make this pillow, we're gonna need some worsted weight yarn. For this tutorial, I used the Super Soft Yarn by Himalaya in the color Mustard, and I used a 5mm crochet hook. I've also made this pillow in different types of yarn, such as the Karen Simply Soft, the Dolphin Fine by Himalaya, which is a velvet yarn, and the Cotton Mix by Kartopo. I recommend using a worsted weight yarn or a chunky yarn. Just make sure to use the correct size millimeter hook as recommended by the yarn you're using. For this tutorial, I'll be using a 5mm crochet hook. The pillow I made is 20 by 20 inches in size and I got this pillowcase from IKEA. IKEA has a range of colors such as green, purple, lilac and baby pink. I decided to go with the mustard color as it matches the yarn that I'll be using. We're also going to need an inner cushion to fill the pillowcase with. Make sure to get a cushion that is the same size as the pillow you're going to be making. Some other materials we're going to use is a measuring tape, a darning needle, some stitch markers, a pair of scissors, and some sewing pins. We're also going to need a sewing machine to sew the piece you're going to make onto the pillowcase. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can do this step by hand using a regular needle and thread. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a sample piece of the pattern. I'll also be showing you how to increase the starting chain to fit the size of the pillowcase you want to make. After we make the starting chain, we're going to work the first double crochet row and then the first bobble stitch row. We're then going to make another double crochet row and then we're going to make the second bobble stitch row and then again we're going to have another double crochet row. From there you're going to repeat rows 2 to 5 until you reach the height you want. Then we'll be adding a border and finally we'll stitch the piece onto the pillowcase. The starting chain of this pillow is multiples of 4 plus 2. For this tutorial I'll be chaining 16 chains and I'll be adding 2 chains in the end. You can chain the full length of the width of your pillow. To make the exact pillow I made that I showed in the beginning of this video, I chained a total of 60 chains and then I added 2 chains in the end. So once you've completed your multiples of 4, add 2 more chains to make that extra plus 2 in the end of the chain. So here you can grab your measuring tape and measure the length of the chain you made to match the width of your pillowcase. Now that the length of your chain matches the width of your pillowcase, remove 4 chains from the total chain that you made. This will give us some space to make the crochet border that we're going to make on this piece while making sure that this piece is not going to be larger than our pillowcase. For this tutorial, I'm going to chain back the 4 extra chains that I removed as I want to continue crocheting with 16 chains. To start row number 1, you're going to do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So skip the first chain from the hook, skip the second chain from the hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain from the hook, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Grab your stitch marker and insert it into that very first stitch that you made. To complete this row, we're going to be doing a double crochet in every single chain until the chain before the last. So, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain space, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Continue doing this until you reach the stitch before the last and I'll meet you there. Now we have two stitches remaining. We're going to continue with a normal double crochet in the stitch before the last. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, Pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. 
In the very last stitch, we're going to work two double crochets together in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and stop there. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining three loops. Now we have completed the first row and we're ready to begin the next row. To begin row 2, chain 1 and turn your work or turn your work and chain 1, it doesn't really matter. And then work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. So insert your hook, pull up a loop and pull through two loops and repeat it for the next two stitches. Insert a stitch marker in the very first single crochet you made. In the next stitch, we're going to make our very first bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. We're going to repeat this until we have six loops on our hook. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then we have six loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all six loops and then push the bobble stitch out turn your work and you can see the bobble stitch you just made single crochet into the next three stitches and then do a bobble stitch into the next stitch so three single crochets and then a bobble stitch so let's do the bobble stitch together again yarn over Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Repeat this two more times until you have six loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all six loops. Push the bobble stitch out and you can turn your work to see the second bobble stitch you just made. So you're going to repeat this pattern, three single crochets and then a bobble stitch, three single crochets and then a bobble stitch, and you'll continue doing it until you have four stitches left in your row. So I'm finishing up the last bobble stitch of the row and I'm left with four stitch spaces and I will single crochet in each of the last four spaces. So insert your hook, pull up a loop and pull through two loops for the four remaining stitches. Now we've finished the second row and we're ready to begin row three. To begin row 3, we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain 2 and then we're going to double crochet in the very first space. So yarn over, insert your hook, make sure it's the very first space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, yarn over and pull through the remaining 2 loops. Here you can move the stitch marker up one row to the very first stitch you just made. Now you're going to do a double crochet in every single space up until the space before the last. So go ahead and do that and I'm going to meet you at the end of the row.
Be mindful with the stitch before the bobble stitch as it could be difficult to see and you might accidentally drop it. So now we've completed all the double crochets except for the very last stitch. So in the last stitch what we're going to do is two double crochets together in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining three loops. So we've completed row 3 and we're ready to begin row 4. To begin row 4, we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain 1. And then one single crochet into the very first space. So insert your hook, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. And then we're going to work a bobble stitch into the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and repeat this until we have six loops on our hook. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, Once we have six loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all six loops. So once you've completed the first bobble stitch of the row, you're going to single crochet in the next three spaces. So three single crochets and then you're going to do a bobble stitch. And you will repeat this pattern, three single crochets and then a bobble stitch three single crochets and then a bobble stitch until you're left with two spaces at the end of the row. So continue doing this and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now you've reached the end of the row so we've got three spaces left. I'm going to work my last bobble stitch. the final two spaces work one single crochet into each space. Now we're finished with row number four and we're ready to begin row five. To start row five turn your work over and chain two. Work one double crochet in the very first space of the row. Make one double crochet into every space until the space before the last. So continue doing so and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Once you've reached the last stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the remaining three loops. Now we've completed the repeat pattern. So this is row one, row two, row three, row four, and row five. And from here, you're going to repeat rows two to five until you achieve the pillow height you want. So we're gonna do the first repeat together. So turn over, chain one, and then one single crochet into the first space and then another single crochet and the third single crochet. So we start the row with three single crochets and then we're gonna do a bobble stitch and then three single crochets and then a bobble stitch until the last four spaces in this row. Once you've completed the last bobble stitch of the row, you have four spaces left. 
and you're going to complete it with one single crochet into each one of those spaces. So we've just completed row 2 repeat, go ahead and repeat rows 3, 4 and 5 and then start again repeating rows 2 to 5 until you reach the height you want. So let's review the pattern, this is row 1, row 2 where the repeat starts, row 3, row 4, row 5 and then we start with row 2, row 3 and then you're going to do row 4 and 5 and then row 2, 3, four, five, until you reach the height you need. So here I'm just finishing off the last stitch of my last row. So I'm doing the two double crochets together in the same stitch. Once I'm done with that, I will not fasten off as I'm going to continue to work on the border. Once I complete this step, I'm ready to do the border of this piece. So once I'm happy with the size, I'm going to work a single crochet on all sides of the square. The reason we need a border is so that when we're sewing this piece onto the pillowcase, we don't go over the bobble stitches on the sides. So the border will give me the extra space to comfortably sew this piece onto the pillow cover. To start, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to insert my hook into that very corner. So just right there. And I'm going to work three single crochets. And I'm going to do this in all the corners of the square. So this is going to give me a nice round edge. Once I work the first single crochet, I'm going to use the stitch marker so that once I'm done with the border, I know where to do the slip stitch. So this is the first single crochet. Work another one into the same space and a third one into the very same space. Now work a single crochet all the way down. There's no right way to do this, just eyeball this. Try not to put too many single crochets, just space them out evenly. Once you've done that and you reach the next corner, you're going to work three single crochets into that corner as you did in the first corner. So three single crochets in this end and then single crochet all the way down and then another three single crochets in the next corner, single crochet all the way down, three single crochets in the third corner, all the way down to the very first corner and I'm going to meet you there. So now I'm almost done with the border, I've got a couple of stitches left. So I'm going to work my last single crochet. And then I'm going to insert my hook where the stitch marker is. And I'm going to do a slip stitch. So I'm going to pull up a loop and pull the same loop through the loop on the hook. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull the loop again. And then I'm going to cut the yarn and pull it all the way through. So now you've completed crocheting the piece and let's talk about the next steps now. The next step is to weave in all the tail ends. So the way I like to do it is to use the darning needle and I like to use a steel darning needle so that it slides easily in the yarn and I like to weave in the tail ends in three directions to make sure that it's not going to come apart. The 
The next step is to use the sewing pins to pin the crochet piece onto the pillowcase. Keep the zipper side open and start pinning the left side and then the top side and then the right side of the pillowcase. I tend to pin sideways so that when I'm using the sewing machine, I can sew over the sewing pins instead of having to remove them one by one. So go ahead and pin all the sides of your pillowcase, leaving the zipper side unpinned for now. Once you've completed pinning three sides of the pillowcase, you're left with the zipper side. So what you need to do is to open the zipper and holding the top part of the pillowcase, start pinning it the same way that you pinned the other three sides. Once you've completed doing this part, you're ready to now sew the top piece onto the pillowcase using a sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, then you can do this by hand using a regular needle and thread. Once you've completed sewing the three sides of the pillowcase, you're ready to now sew the zipper side of the pillowcase. Open the zipper and insert the top part under the sewing foot, about 1-2 to two centimeters inwards from the outer edge of the zipper. Make sure that you do this because if the needle hits the outer edge of the zipper, your needle might break and then you'll have to replace it. So about 1-2 to two centimeters inwards from the outer edge of the zipper and then continue sewing as you did the other three parts. Once you've completed sewing the top piece that you've made onto the pillowcase, you are ready to do the very last step, which is to insert the pillow insert into the pillowcase. So go right ahead and do that, and then you would have completed the bobble stitch pillow. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed making this pillowcase as much as I did. See you until next time.